My day to day can be very varied depending on the day. We do a lot of different tasks up here. So we could be dry stone walling, we could be doing some tree planting, some other land management skills. This dry stone wall was knocked over when the tree behind it was blown over in one of the storms last year. So we needed to come and repair it because soon we'll have cattle grazing on the site. I and mean, obviously we didn't want the cattle getting through the wall and into the neighbouring land. You can see a range of different animals and wildlife around dry stone walls. It's very common to see mosses and lichens. And then as decaying material builds up, so leaves, bits of moss dying off, other bits, you get a range of different insects you can find in the bottom of dry stone walls. Millipedes, worms, beetles, breaking down that material and using it as a, a kind of sheltering spot. It's also very common when you're rebuilding a dry stone wall, you might find the remains of a mouse nest perfect habitat for mice to nest in the wall. It's really sheltered from the elements. Predators can't get into it easily, so it's a great spot for them to build a nest and to be able to kind of hibernate. You also find a range of other hibernating animals in there. Depending on the site, you might find lizards or frogs or amphibians such as those. It's not uncommon to find stoats and weasels using walls as a place to move around the landscape. Obviously it provides shelter for them and they're kind of agile and nimble enough to fit through some of the cracks in the dry stone walls. You might get badgers using a wall as a feature to burrow under. It's an easy way to find the entrance to their burrow system. You can also find birds sometimes nesting in the crevices in dry stone walls and it's really common to see birds on top of the dry stone walls, particularly your birds of prey using it as a kind of lookout spot to scan the landscape for prey. Also, bats and birds often use dry stone walls as a navigation tool, so in quite a sparse landscape, having a linear feature can be crucial for them to be able to navigate around. For organisations such as ourselves, it can be really crucial for splitting off different pieces of land with different management techniques. So you might have a hay meadow on one side of the wall and you could have stock on the other side. So maintaining a dry stone wall allows us to manage the land in different ways for the benefit of wildlife. Dry stone walls are a great source of shelter for wildlife as well as stock and sheep as well. You can often see them sheltering behind dry stone walls in the harsh weather. There's a lot of things that people can do to help with wildlife. When you're out and about, the obvious things such as not leaving litter around that wildlife's going to get caught up in or stuff that's going to break down into the atmosphere. There's so much that people can do in their gardens at home important thing to remember is that at the end of the day wildlife wants to be messy it doesn't want to be perfectly manicured so in, in people's gardens there's great initiatives such as no mow may which encourages people to not cut their lawn for the whole of may which will help to encourage a range of different wildflowers to grow up and provide a great early kind of nectar source for the pollinators there's other things that people can do as well, such as creating a wildlife pond in their garden or leaving piles of leaves or twigs to break down, which provides really good habitat for hibernating animals over winter. These are small things that people can do in their garden that don't take up a lot of room that can have a, a big benefit for wildlife. Nature's facing a massive decline currently, not only in the UK, but across the globe. So now's a really important time for people to get involved and help protect wildlife. Things are only going to get harder for wildlife with the impacts of climate change and the more we can do to help nature the more we're going to be able to protect and leave for future generations to enjoy. Mm -hmm.